Decoding the phrase, backlog. Hey, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a common English phrase, backlog. It's a word you might hear in professional settings, but also in everyday life. By the end of this video, you'll understand its meaning and how to use it correctly. Backlog originally comes from two words, back and log. Historically, it referred to the largest log in a fire which would burn the longest, thus remaining at the back or end of the fire's life. Over time, the term evolved and started to represent something that's left behind or accumulated over a period. In modern English, a backlog usually refers to a buildup of work or tasks that haven't been completed yet, an accumulation of unfulfilled orders or requests. For example, if a company receives more orders than it can handle at once, the unprocessed orders become part of the backlog. Now that we understand the basic definition, let's look at some examples of how backlog might be used in sentences. 1. The software company has a backlog of bugs they need to fix. 2. Due to the holiday season, there's a huge backlog of parcels at the post office. 3. She has a backlog of emails she needs to respond to after her vacation. In each of these examples, backlog refers to a pile or list of things that need attention or completion. If you're looking to diversify your vocabulary, here are some related phrases and synonyms for backlog. Pending tasks, tasks that are awaiting completion. Q, often used in the context of waiting in line or a list of tasks to be processed. Unfinished business, matters that have been started but not yet concluded. Using these synonyms can help you express the idea of backlog in varied ways. And that wraps up our journey into the world of backlog. We hope this video helps you understand this phrase better and boosts your confidence in using it in your conversations. Remember, language is an evolving entity. And the more you immerse yourself in it, the more natural it becomes. Keep learning. And until next time, happy studying.